Biraz mühimmat. Al bakalım. Hi guys, this is Matthias. And what you see here, the very first tip of this video, is when I'm picking up the infiltrator kit, when I just recently switched from another server because I'm, as per usual, hunted by aimbotting and cheating stream snipers. And uh, of course I forgot to switch the scene, so you guys watching this, the stream at this point, you can't see what's happening. So now, this match actually, well, partly because of the stream snipers, became quite interesting and I uploaded the rest of the full video on my main channel. So if you haven't seen that already, I will put the link in the description so you can see this full round. It's kind of funny how stream sniping have it tends to backfire over and over again and I just get an additional amount of content that a lot of you guys seem to enjoy. Now, I do get quite a number of questions about the infiltrator and most of them are about the flare gun that uh, calls in the artillery barrage. Now, what you see me doing is that I shoot it uh, slightly up in the air so that once it is over a position where I want it to, where I want the barrage to hit, I then press the mouse button, or well, I press both mouse buttons because at that time I'm always looking at the minimap and trying to focus on other things like, you know, staying alive, not being hit from uh, behind and so on. So I just press both mouse buttons just to make sure I don't click the wrong one. Now, the infiltrator also has smoke grenades and a heliograph, which in this game acts as a spawn beacon, funny enough. I don't really see how that is related, but uh, what do I care? It's good when people can spawn in, in a location where I place this little beacon looking thing. So yeah, the main weapon of the infiltrator is this Martini Hendrick grenade launcher and the secondary is the sort of shotgun that uh, the shotgun that also the tank hunter has but most people probably associate it with either the tanker or the pilot class you can also have the sort of shotgun for assault funny as it is the sort of shotgun might actually be one of the most underestimated weapons in the game because this one is a beast used correctly if you're lucky enough to get into the right positions so yeah if you want to see the rest of that round just click the link in the description and it will take you to that video on my main channel. Now, one of the things that some of us uh, find a little bit irritating or frustrating or however you want to phrase it is campers. Now, of course, one of the best ways to deal with campers is, in my opinion, the AT rocket gun for the assault class. I took out one there by destroying the wall of this tower. I damaged another one, but that uh, shot didn't eat anything. Luckily enough, I do have a few more grenades also, and voila, down they go. <laughs> Campers. So now here in the next tip, I want to say a big shout out to you guys watching my stream, because I wouldn't have known what have happened if you didn't pay attention. I was actually first trying to take out the Dreadnought when the torpedo boat showed up, and when I got the kill on the torpedo boat, I thought somebody oh. else killed the Dreadnought. But as it turns out, those projectiles from that big badass gun actually continued. And I got an extra little bonus kill there. It's not so little, to be honest. Next up, we're going to focus a little bit on kit switching. Just killed that sniper. I'm gonna borrow his flares for detection. I see that the enemies are coming here at me with two cars. And if I had some more experience with the limpet charges, I would have probably owned that car with the limpet. But I am terrible with limpets. I never use them, never throw them. I heard they are addictive. So obviously, because of my lack of experience with limpet charges, I absolutely fail. Luckily, I borrowed another kit also, an assault kit from a guy that I might have killed or someone else killed or whatever happened. And... Uh, that way I was able to take out that first car. Now, there's another car, and you know what? I'll pick up that assault kit once again. So, earlier today, during the stream, people were asking me about certain things about what I like and dislike about Battlefield. One thing that I love is to play with good medics, because you are constantly going to be in action due to these crazy revives and this is one of the most crazy one i've seen in front of like i don't know a hundred people it seems like well 
maybe a few less but anyway I was able to take out a few guys there with dynamite in you know like the hornet's nest and uh, that is one of the reasons why I love playing with medics this constant revives and healing keeping you in the fight keeping you in the action always something happening and I'm assuming that this also makes the game more enjoyable to watch we are That revive was insanely insane. So now what also was brought up in that conversation about what's good and bad about Battlefield is imbalanced teams or imbalanced servers. Now I normally have the best moments if I'm in the weaker team because you know getting killstreaks and uh, you know somewhat epic moments when you're in the winning team it just doesn't have the same feel but when you're kind of like the underdog and you go on a nice kid streak you feel like you're actually achieving something and you feel like you're actually putting yourself through a uh, interesting challenge and again it normally or i'm assuming is more interesting to watch as you can see here i'm in a team that is very very weak but i'm trying my best to push through and get myself to b or just kill off as many people as possible who are attacking a and i think most of us would agree that if you saw this clip or a very similar clip when i was in the other team in the stronger team getting a kill streak like this it would just feel so irrelevant but getting a good streak like this especially if you have a good squad you can actually make a difference in a match and uh, well that is a lot more fun and it makes it a lot more enjoyable to play and probably also as i said to watch battlefield one this game is just pure gold i'll join you to see him <laughs> Right there, coming Enemy plane! Watch it! This was if this was every day I would I would be able to go to the Philippines absolutely. Well, it's hard, medical, it's hard to make a living now with uh,
for you. Losing objective Charlie. That wasn't the tank, was it? No, 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 the tank is still there. 